Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I have some great content for you. With a world full of so much distraction, it's very easy to feel lost, confused, and overwhelmed. And even though you might want to take massive action on altering the course of your life, it feels like you're frozen in some way, like you can't make a decision. Do you feel that, do you feel, you know, sometimes we feel that when we're on life's journey, right? Or you just haven't had the chance to get clear on where to start or what to focus on to create, to move forward and to progress in. Because we want that movement forward in our life, which is why I want to talk about clarity and how different aspects of life can affect us, how we can be blocked in one area with clarity and, be, and also be blocked in other areas because without clarity and without support, there can be no movement forward. There can be no change. I want to help you clear the path to embrace your expansion. Areas of our life that we want to have, in, have clarity in include relationships. And relationships start with our family dynamics when we're children. They begin with our friendships, our peers, even our teachers in school, our religious mentors in our life. If we have felt undervalued or impacted in negative ways, they often show up in our relationships in adulthood, interpersonal relationships, business relationships, friendships, partnerships, life partners. And we can have blocked clarity and cloudy vision of what is true for us. When this happens, we naturally hold ourselves back. We can become defensive around life, stubborn in situations. We can be an overgiver and people pleaser because we're earning that relationship, that right to be in their life. It's common. Relationships is an area we often need more clarity around. Yes. Now, we need clarity with forgiveness. It is easy to get tripped up in the word forgiveness. And that's because for me, I think of forgiveness as an action verb. We must actively be involved in forgiveness or it doesn't happen. And often we just want to move on. This is due to our energetic wiring in believing that forgiveness it like somehow includes pain, struggling and suffering. Our, our heart, it doesn't want to go through trauma of being a victim to other people. So what happens is we begin to believe that we must hold on to old stories and pain energy so that something bad doesn't repeat itself in our life. In addition to life experiences, we also have inherited patterns of, of unforgiveness in our ancestral lineage it can make us defensive and judgmental, even critical of others and critical of ourselves. It's like we're trying to um, self-punish ourselves. So we hold on to the past. We need to have clarity with the past and clarity to trust forgiveness that it truly serves our highest good to let go of it and move on. Because no one in our life is being held up or held back because we're holding on to an old experience and, and situation. Even though they are 100% to blame for it, they don't care, they've moved on. And they probably don't even think about the situation, most likely. Next, 
There's money clarity. Everyone needs more clarity with money. How to honor money, how to feel safe with money, and clarity that money is available. We have generational blocks with money that we're not aware of consciously. The blocks that these unconscious blocks are the blocks that I love to clear. I love to clear generational patterns that don't serve us on that subconscious level. They lie within our epigenetics and our DNA. This isn't something you just think positive about and have it go. Scarcity is real. Scarcity shows up with money and it's very it shows up in love, scarcity of love, the scarcity of time, right? And it's common for all people from all walks of life to experience scarcity. Scarcity is not reserved for the underprivileged and the poverty, those in poverty. It is not reserved for a certain class of people. Scarcity is very real. It can be felt by anyone in all walks, no matter how much money they make. We need clarity and comfortability with money. And that's what I want for you. I believe you can have that. When we lack clarity in our life, it is because there is a frequency vibration, a mismatch there to what is truly our soul frequency. And this frequency gets in the way of who we really are, whether it's money, whether it's relationships, whether it's self-acceptance, forgiveness, success, success clarity is often complicated because of inherited patterns of needing to work harder or the fear of being judged or the fear, you know, that um, fear of responsibility that often goes along with success, right? They're very real. We, we want to have vision and expansion in our work and we need clarity to, to see, know, and trust that good things are available for us. And then we need the inner soul confidence to move through uncomfortability. Uncomfortability always comes with growth and up-leveling. Success clarity is available. I promise. Now, let me share some thoughts about miracle clarity. Those clarities of having awareness when miracles happen in our life, because oftentimes we're feeling so discouraged, so diminished, so lacking that we don't see them for what they are. We don't take time to give gratitude for miracles in our life. The truth is there are miracles available to us. They may show up differently than what we asked for or even imagined. But if you are blocked, it's impossible to see miracles with true clarity. Now, those were just food for thought there for you to become aware about. And next, I have created a powerful visualization on clarity to help you with clarity. So let's begin. I want you to get into a comfortable position with your feet on the floor, or laying down with your eyes closed. Begin by taking a deep breath into your lungs, feeling your lungs to capacity. And on the exhale, I want to hear it, right? Exhale. <sighs> Letting go of frustrations and blocks around clarity. Your next breath is a belly breath. Feeling your belly with the breath, extending your stomach as you feel it with air. And sensing, feeling, and imagine a cord is attached to the back of your belly button, to your spinal cord. And as you exhale, you imagine this cord is being pulled, your stomach is being pulled back to your spine. There you go activating the vertebrae in the central nervous system as it becomes awakened and balanced. Beautiful. One last breath. 
breathing your breath, taking your breath back up into your lungs and feeling them to capacity and release. Now, I will count from one to three. And on three, you will imagine that you are standing in your own personal private tunnel. One, you are becoming more deeply relaxed. Two, the sounds around you will only allow you to go deeper relaxed. Three, you sense, feel, and imagine you are standing in your own personal private tunnel. Embracing each step, feeling safe, and knowing this tunnel possesses the enjoyment and fulfillment of your dreams and aspirations. This is your tunnel that leads to infinite opulence in all areas of your life. Pausing, you notice a light at the end of the tunnel. Ah, and you notice this light is getting dimmer. Taking a few more steps forward, the light seems to have vanished and you're in complete darkness yet mindful that you feel very safe. And you notice a slight drop in air temperature as you feel a slight chill in the air. Your eyes have adjusted. Your eyes have adjusted to the darkness. And you see all areas around you and you begin to see that you are standing very close to a wall in front of you. And the wall is block it, blocking the tunnel light. As you focus, notice it is made up of tiny little wooden blocks piled on top of each other's. As you walk closer to the wall, you notice that each little wooden block has writing carved out on it. Simply observe this wall piled with tiny blocks, blocks with words written on them. Now, reaching out with one arm, Open your hand and pick up one block. What does it say on it? Pull it closer to your eyes and read the words. What does it say? The words on the wall, these are on the wall blocks are expressions of energetic blocks. And this block you are holding is an expression of one of your personal energetic blocks. This represents a challenge in your life, something that is holding you back, something holding you back from making a confident, empowered choice in your life. Naturally, you drop the block. You naturally drop this block to the ground and you watch it effortlessly roll away. Now, reach out and pick up another block. Pull it close to your eyes and read what energetic block this one is. Let it drop and watch it roll away. There you go. Now pick up another block. Read it, drop it, drop it to the ground and watch it roll away. 
continue. Reaching out, picking up the tiny block that represents confusion. Drop it and let it roll away. Reach out and pick up the block that represents frustration. Drop it and let it roll away. Pick up the block that represents scarcity. You pick up a block that says overwhelmed. You drop it and let it roll away. Pick up the block that says indecision. This pattern, this block represents second guessing yourself, being indecisive and holding back. Drop indecision, watch it roll away. As you drop each block to the ground, you become aware that they are creating a musical sound to your ears, a perfect rhythm. It's the high vibrational sound that is positively impacting your energy system and the cells of your body. It's a perfect rhythm for you. It's music to your ears and music to your body. All but one final block in your hand. Looking at the writing on it, you feel a rush, a deep sense of peace. This is a peace of mind that fills your awareness and awakens your soul. What is this word? You feel certain that this is your final block in your hand, and it is the best one to let go of. It represents clarity on what needs to be released. It releases clarity on what needs to be healed within your emotional DNA. You have clarity that there is more for you in your life and that this is your divine right to accept yourself. This one block frees you of the indecisiveness. It frees you of all the unnecessary worrying and wondering what to focus on. Feel yourself smile deep within. Deep appreciation for the immense clarity you've just been given. Feel a burst of cleansing and empowering light calling you now to the end of the tunnel. Your light, your life purpose. As you walk forward, you feel fearless and increased inner knowingness you are walking into divine expansion of your future with calmness, confidence, and clarity. Bringing your awareness back to your breath. I will count from three to one. And on one, you will open your eyes feeling refreshed and clear. Three, bringing your awareness back to your breath as a deep connection within your body. Two, acknowledging a deeper inner peace and knowingness that all is in divine order and right for you. And one, you are present, confident, and ready to move forward with increased clarity, awareness in who you are, and moving forward, activating this on all levels and dimensions to take, say yes, to take action and to have clarity in your life about how you show up, your purpose, and in how you interact with others. And you are complete. What did your last block say? Share it with me. Share what that last block was that was blocking you. Mm -hmm. I'll comment on it. 
if you are interested in more, really interested in changing mindset, if you're really interested in releasing inherited patterns, vibrations, life experiences, I have an amazing masterclass that is available to watch. It will give you more clarity. It will offer you more movement. So if you want this masterclass, let me know below because I'm here for you. That's what I do this for. That's why I write content for you. That's why I bring you stuff so that you can transform in your life. I want you to have clarity. I want you to believe. It is in your divine right to have more, to have more belief, to know that you are worthy of more. I'm sending you lots of love, lots of expansion.